Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Java error code 1721. There is a problem with this Windows installer package. A program required for this install to complete could not be run. Contact your support personnel or package vendor. And then it will say action initializer, location, and then it will have the C drive or whatever drive Windows is installed on and then it'll have top command and then just a bunch of random letters and characters. So pretty straightforward process guys and we're going to go about how to resolve it. And we're going to start off by opening up the SAR menu. Type in services. Best result. Should come back with services here. So go ahead and just open that up. You want to scroll down and locate the Windows installer service. Right here and double click on it. You want to go ahead and start this service. And then once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and select OK. Close it here. Now you want to open up a web browser. Now I'm going to have a link to this web page in the description of the video. It's a Microsoft download page here. And you want to go ahead and select the orange download button. This is going to be the Microsoft Visual C++ Service Pack 1 redistributable package. Go ahead and select that. And you want to select the one that's applicable for your computer. So if you're running a 32-bit version of Windows, you're going to select the Times 86 download. Most of you guys are running a 64-bit version of the operating system, so you download the 64-bit one. However, like I said, I'm on a 32-bit computer here, so I'm going to select that one. But most of you guys are going to be downloading the Times 64 version. Just want to put that out there. So once it's done downloading, just go ahead and open it up. Select Yes. And then just give it some time here. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And once that is done, go ahead and restart your computer. And once your computer has restarted, that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.